look at that beautiful thing right there my goodness do you want bacon do you want bacon do you really want bacon hit that subscribe button do it do it now get your bacon well hey folks welcome back to my channel today we're gonna make bacon the natural way All right, to get started, down here in front of me, I'm gonna move the camera in a second. I got a pan with two gallons of water. I have my slab of pork belly, and I have some celery juice powder, which I'm gonna use instead of sodium nitrate to, as a curing agent for this bacon. I'm starting to go with more natural stuff, since who knows how they make that sodium nitrate, whatever nuclear, chemical process they use this stuff seems pretty decent because they just take celery juice and they put it in a freeze dryer and they turn it into powder and it does the same thing so let's get you guys over here so you can see what i'm doing all right pan two gallons of water cold water and 1.3 ounces of celery juice powder we're gonna get that mixed in every last bit of it out of the container get all these clumps broken up now you guys have already seen the cold smoker build it's still in the process of making that right now it's behind the camera getting this last coat of uh, spar urethane on it but that video will come out before this because this cure is going to take eight days. Make sure we don't have any clumps down there. two pounds of pure sea salt, no iodine, just pure salt. Go ahead and get that all dissolved in. Don't have to get that salt perfectly dissolved in right now. Just get the vast majority of it dissolved. It'll it'll dissolve completely over the next eight days while this thing is curing. That's almost all the salt dissolved. I could have used hot water to dissolve it, but then that kind of defeats the purpose. It'll it'll, it'll start cooking the meat while you're trying to cure it. So, I got a six pound. I got a little more than half a pork belly here. We didn't have any whole ones at the store, but got a nice pork belly. We'll go ahead and get her in here. Use a piece of glassware to hold it down. Today's May 1st, so this thing's going to come out in the morning of May 9th. So that's pretty much it. This is going to go in the fridge for eight days. 
and then uh, by then the smoker build will be completely done. I'll be ready to put it in there and cold smoke it for probably about six hours and uh, we'll see how the bacon turns out after that. So this next part, this next eight days is only going to take about three seconds for you. It's going to be all done in this one hair video. Be back in one second. And just like that, eight days elapsed in two seconds. All right, now it's just time to start uh, reducing the weight and getting some smoke flavor in this thing. Um, brined it, and we're ready to get things smoking. So today, just using apple wood, nice and mild. Got my little pot set up. I'll have to come out here and put a handful in about every, oh, I'm, I'm guessing about 30 minutes. And we're gonna smoke it for eight hours. So we're gonna go ahead and shut this place up and get her going. We're gonna come back and check on it here in oh probably about four hours see how she's doing and uh yeah um what, was, what else is there oh right um most cold smokers when they do bacon they, they don't want to go above like 84 85 degrees i'm not too worried about it i'm going to be probably around 105 so it might cook to the outer edges of the bacon a little tiny bit but i'm okay with that so we'll come bring you guys back in about four hours Look at that beautiful thing right there. My goodness. The last couple of hours I didn't even have uh, smoke going. It was just keeping it warm so I could keep dehydrating it a little bit so I can get some a little bit of weight loss and dry it out a little bit. And now we're gonna go ahead and get this thing out of here. Look at that thing. Gonna get chilled down and sliced up. See you in the kitchen. All right, welcome back to my uh, backyard kitchen. I got the, uh, if I can lift it, got the bacon right here. We're gonna go ahead and cut it. Now, I'm not doing it the way they do it in the supermarkets because of the way I'm gonna vacuum wrap it. I'm actually gonna cut it right down the middle. Then I'm gonna slice it this way and we're gonna see how it goes. It looks and it smells delicious. It's been chilled for about two hours in the freezer. So, should come out all right. Oh, look at that. That looks fantastic. And I'm going to take three quarters away and wrap them up. Oil here. I'll cut them up later and I'll put them back and back and in the freezer. Set those off to the side. Now let's see. My, look at that. It's absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to get some of this in the frying pan. I don't have a, you know, fancy deli slicer. I'm just going to use my really sharp knife. And I'm going to cut some slices here. Nice 
nice straight edge there. Should I start with the fat side? I think I will. smoke around there on the fat there's a little bit down there all right we've got our pan in front of us let's crank the heat up and fry some bacon all right pan is nice and hot let's get some bacon in there We're gonna try to get this nice and crispy. I'm using my uh, number seven Griswold. I don't know what year it was made. It's old, but it's a really nice, nice cast iron frying pan. I like it a lot. All right, she's looking done, looking crispy. Take a look at that. That is just gorgeous. All right, we're gonna turn the heat off. We're gonna plate it up on a paper plate of course all right we're going to turn the heat off we're going to plate it up on a paper plate of course
Doesn't that look good? My goodness, nice and crunchy, I'm sure. You can even have your bacon with a kitty. Isn't that right? Do you want bacon? Do you want bacon? Do you really want bacon? Hit that subscribe button. Do it. Do it now. Get your bacon.